Malaysians love eating delicious food. Nasi lemak, fried chicken, kway teow, and etc. We use huge amount of cooking oil in our everyday cooking. But when it comes to disposing it all, we usually just pour it down the drain. Have you ever thought to yourself, where does the cooking oil go? This used oil can clog drains, enter rivers, and other natural reservoirs. And this action will have long-term consequences to our ecosystem. It disturbs our nature drastically by breaking life chains. In Malaysia, there are about 1,300 tonnes of used cooking oil are disposed incorrectly to the environment every day. To let you have an idea how big it is, the two tanks behind me is only 120 tonnes, only. A single person cannot be held responsible for this issue. So what can we do together to solve this problem? And what if I tell you there is some method to let you earn some quick ringgit by recycling this? Meet Mr. Lee. He collects up to 60 tonnes of used cooking oil every month. What is the correct way to dispose the used cooking oil? Um, please don't throw it inside the drain. I don't really matter how much quantity you have or every time how much you dispose. As long as you let us know you're willing to collect it, we will provide you with clean drums. When it is full, let us know. Oh. See, we will come, go over to your place, we scale, we buy. Ah, yes, oh, door to door collect. Mm, yes, yes, very yes. atas. See, mm. this is what we do every day. We are full time collectors. Oh, uh -huh. Okay, all right. Another thing is, once you have collected, and what are going to do with it? For many years, uh, all our used cooking oil that collect back is only for one purpose, that is biodiesel. Biodiesel actually is a very good renewable energy. Uh, it produces much less uh, air pollution. Oh, okay. Uh, much, much less than the fossil oil. Okay. Especially advanced countries, they are very encouraging not to throw this uh, used cooking oil into the drain, open drain, which create another pollution problems. Mm. Like, mm. let's say there is a person A approach me, person B approach me. Mm. How can I tell which is the right party? Correct, correct. We do have doc support documents to, to support our operation, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, like the license from MPOB. MPOB? Okay. MPOB is Malaysia Palm Oil Board. So every month, we have to give them the report. All have to be stated very clear. Mm. So they will spot, spot check us. Oh, spot check you. Yes, yeah. spot check. Okay. So every time they come in, they want to see our report, our record. We cannot simply sell to any parties without this uh, MPOB license also. So I need to ask the person if you, you guys have the license. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ask them to show. Don't use the mouth to say. Oh, uh, see? okay. Uh, as you know, this oil, it falls into the wrong parties. It can be turned into edible oil again. Very bad. Mm, very that, bad. Uh, that is going can, to be yes, very yes. bad to our health as well. Yes, right? yes, 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 yes. No matter how it looks, so clean, but it cannot be eaten anymore. This is not edible. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Right now, we have this uh, biodiesel industry, which is uh, very popular, especially in the advanced country, also in our country. This is the best way of exposing their used cooking oil. Mm. So once you guys have collected all the oils, what is the first step? The oil come back will be do a very simple filtration. As you can see, all these are from the oil itself. So which means no matter how dirty uh, is the used cook cooking oil, you guys still can use it or yeah. process it. We don't really matter, like, we don't really mind. Unless it put all the water and everything inside, mixed with the cooking oil, become the oil very less and a lot of water, <laughs> then that kind of oil we cannot accept. Like. Uh, uh, then the oil will be storage to our final tank. This is Awe. Today, I'm joining his routine of collecting used cooking oil from local eateries. So right now, we have arrived at our first stop. Let's go! Wow. So I'll just help you to carry this, huh? Yeah. Oh. Wow. 
and the weight for every tong is very different. This one is super heavy. Feels like you are at the gas station. Instead of pumping the oil in, you are pumping the oil out. Oh, actually you can see it. The level is lowering. All the oil is sucking out from this pipe. Oh, I thought Ross got good eyesight, but actually no. I also can do it. Okay, okay, enough. How much are you going to pay them? Total, you buy Around 600 ringgit. Oh my god, that's a yeah. lot. So after a full day of collecting the used oil, right now we are going to assist by Mr. Minger and then he will teach me how to process all this oil we collected. Oh, right. uh, let me do, let me do, yeah. let me do. Okay? Yeah. Oh, love it, I'm so short. All the money, look at all the money. You think I'm very heavy, yeah? Okay, it, it. Okay. My heart beat. Putuk, 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 putuk. Okay. If you were me, which one would you like to eat? These two looks like dessert, but actually they are handmade soap. Several people are working in different capacities to help save this environment. One such person is Madam Jane, who I'm going to meet. She is doing masterful work by converting used cooking oil into soap. And yes, you heard me correctly. So Jen, I have heard that you have used used oil to make soap. So mm -hmm. how do you do that? 如果会做肥皂的，就是只不过是换了一种油去做，做法其实全部程序都一样的。嗯，可以可以show So should we start now? Yeah. Okay. Okay,现在我们首先是要把这个掺进水,然后把它well blend. Mm -hmm. Wow, it becomes, it darkens. Yeah, and it becomes cloudy mm -hmm. in just within a second. 这是正常的反应来的. Mm, it looks like lemon juice. A bit la, a bit la. <laughs> Orange, lemon. Mm. Mm. Okay, mm. now we use this. Mm -hmm. Okay, just to expedite. You can now woman the lunch It becomes one step already one step. So we pour Liang Miao on this one, two, mm. one, two, two right and then Nashi Lai. The chances of success of simplification okay. is very is high. Easy, oh. So it's a done is a link supply leader. Yes. For me it's difficult. Okay, well very and then, good, very good. <laughs> One, two, okay, very good. Out of soil, so one, two, okay, the bin. Okay, look at my. Okay, one, two, okay. yes, very good. Eh, hun hao Okay, you see the color different, right? Huh? Yes. So you it see. looks thicker, actually, yes. Yes, but you don't make it too thick because we, we need to reserve for the color. Okay, yes. So we are going to do four colors. Okay, is there any requirement for this kind of uh, color? We can use a mica. This is mica powder. We mix with oil and mm -hmm. it it's actually come like this. this. We have already pre-blended oh. it. Mm -hmm. So we pour oh, more on this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Take one cup, two cups. Oh. Yes, one cup. Okay. So now, we put in the white color. Okay. okay, we just 
，这一件哦，就是一次就把它直接你就会可以看到全部每每一片对每一片，然后不需要做 color， 嗯，直接打到它变成 mayonnaise。OK， 哇 ，Yeah， then the chances of success of supplementation is very high， 所以是等于是零失败率的。So actually adding color will make it fail more easily. Yes， 等一下倒进去我们会有这这四个颜色。So white color down， and then green down。等你倒的时候要有 certain volume， OK， 盖那个洞，看到吗？盖那个洞。OK， 来。Like this? Yes. Good. Very good. 接下去我们倒这个。对，倒完它。OK. OK. 呃，刚刚好。Waterline. OK. Yes. 拿起来哦，然后。OK. 来，你看，这个是二十四小时之后我们脱模出来的肥皂。给它干了之后就切 ，OK。然后我们切皂呢，都是用，通常都是用这种 ，It's actually a guitar string。哦，我示范给你看，这个刀你要拿四十五度。嗯哼。哦 ，It looks OK。然后切好了之后，你就这个 rest 在这里，你拿上拿下，有时候你会刮伤它，弄伤它。哦。然后用这种线刀，就是你每切一片，你要把它 wipe it， wipe it clean。Wipe it， yeah。OK。Yeah. 对。哇、wow, ，it's it's very soft. Yes. I thought it's going to be very hard. Yes, because it's just only twenty four hours. 如果你放久一点，它就会很硬。这一件哦，就是一次就把它直接你就会可以看到全部每每一片，对每一片。然后这个它也是 expedite 的 cutting process。压，刚刚压下去。有吗？有那个声音 ？Yes. 晶晶。没有一粒是一样的，它的圈圈都不一样。嗯、yes， 就这样子切完了喽。In this way, not only the wasted and discarded oil are put to use, but they also help to save our environment. You can make an impact. You just need to start off today.